to do Snack is a Snack Guest. It's your boy Gage. I'm here at All Star Comic Con 2019. All Star! And I am with the very special Mr. Luke Tenney. Luke, what's good? To the people. See? What up, what up, what up? You're a natural. You're a natural at this. <laughs> You're too kind. Well, you know, I, I have to say it. I don't have to say it. It's true. It's much, true. Much appreciated. It's true. Thank so listen, first and foremost, how'd you end up here at All Star Comic Con? Oh, uh, Instagram? Uh, Mike hit me up and was like, yo, what's up? And I was like, what's up? And he told me about the thing. He was like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah. And now I'm here. That was easy. Right. That was easy. Are you local? Where are you from? No, I was born in Chicago. Okay. Grew up in South Florida. Okay. Now I, I went to school in New York and then Los Angeles. Graduated and now I live in Los Angeles. East Coast to West Coast. Right. East Coast to West Coast. Hold on. Okay, let's talk a little bit about Deadly Glass. So tell everybody who you play on Deadly Class. I play Willie Lewis on Deadly Class, mm -hmm. aka young brother who quotes Gandhi, don't like violence, uh, but somehow participates in yeah. uh, a school for assassins. So it's a tough life for this young man. He starts out with the kind of tough talk gangster gangster. Like I, for real, like I think like it's got like that 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 80s early 80s kind of vibe, like. You don't want no smoke, I pull up slow, kind of whatever. Absolutely. But then there's a little bit of a change that happens. So when you when you were introduced to the character, right, what drew you to it? Like, what did you like uh, about it? Well, when I first read the sides for the audition, I saw auditions work. You get a portion of the script, you got to do your best to show them what you got. And the only portion I got was that scene between Willie and Marcus in the car, which to me looked just like training day. I was like, I yeah, like Trading Day. Yeah. So I had a good time just playing with the script. I didn't really know anything about Willie, but they brought me in for the callback. Right. And in the callback, I had learned about Willie's mentality and the fact that all of that was just a front. He was somebody who was using this facade to stay away from violence. And I fell in love because lots of times you see young brothers on the TV who are extremely violent. Right. And that's not the case all the right. time. And Willie is an example of the opposite of that. So. That's actually... That scene is the is the scene that put me over. Like it's it's like the very first episode. Yeah. But that scene, it's that it's that Slim. I will shoot you if you don't right now understand that this X Men is like this is the greatest thing that ever happened. Like that's honestly one of the best. And like I was like, oh, okay. Dark Phoenix saga, man. Straight all day. up. Yeah. Straight up. Chris Claremont. John Byrne. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It was dope. All the con all the cornrows real. <laughs> no. <laughs> but. If they look real, mission accomplished. No, Yo, they look real. Our, our hair and makeup team worked really hard to make these things look realistic. Like, they had pictures and everything. Logistically, what they did was magic. I don't know how they came up with it, but it's something that's in the comic, yeah. and it's something that's so 80s, they had to figure it out, and they did. They, they made it work. Job. Yeah. It worked, man. It looks yeah. good. Okay. So, 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 listen. Are you going to be at the after party tonight? Uh, probably oh. not. My my dad actually came and surprised me. Really? Yeah, because I grew up in Florida, so my dad came up from Florida. Okay. And just surprised me, so I'm probably gonna be kicking it with him. No, that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe, maybe don't bring him to the after party. <laughs> probably not. Maybe not. Maybe not gonna happen. Yeah. Maybe not a thing. All right, listen. Tell everybody who's watching what you what else you have on the doctor. What's next for you? <laughs> Yo. Uh, to be real, what's next for me? This is my fourth job. I'm a very blessed young man. Yeah. I just started in this industry, and I got to start with something like Deadly Class. So what's next for me is I have no idea. Mm. But Deadly Class, if y'all ain't know, has been officially canceled by Sci-Fi. Like so that. what we need is for y'all to go online and hashtag Save Deadly Class at Netflix, at Hulu, at Amazon Prime, anything online. Because if we can come to a streaming service, that means we'll be up in your crib whenever you want it. All the time. All the time. I'm with that. Disney just bought Hulu. That could go down. Disney just bought Hulu? Yes. <laughs> it's a thing. It's a thing. They bought everything. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Wow. It's real. Listen, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. Listen. This is just the beginning. We got so much happening. We got to go back to the snack stage, announcements to make, things like that, people to see. Again, I greatly appreciate you, Lou. With that amount, toodles and lose. Loading snacks. <laughs>